Hi, my name is Harleon. I'm here to review Halo Custom Guitars. In my hand is a Maris 7 string with a 27 inch neck loaded with bare knuckle juggernauts, a transparent maple, and a locking output jack. So, let's get to it. First impressions are Wow. When I took this out of the box, I had no idea that this was actually transparent white. Uh, I guess I didn't really understand what he, what um, Bruce himself was saying when he was trying to get uh, photos to actually show the grain, but it, it looks amazing. Um, I will hopefully be able to show a proper picture on the final review once you guys see it. So, let's talk about components. These bare knuckle juggernauts sound amazing, honestly. Um, comparative to my Halo BH7 that I had with their stock pickups, these blow them out of the water. As a matter of fact, Jeff Lee himself recommended I don't use their stock pickups. That being said, this bridge is freaking awesome. Um, tuning this and setting this up is real, real easy. On the first review that I did with Travis, you did mention that when you do uh, have these guitars set up, that when you change different gauge strings or even change the tunings, you can actually have you, you might have to set this up a little bit, which is no big deal. So, that I have not had no problems with so far, since the last review. Tuners. These are just standard tuners. Um, nothing special about them. I will actually, most likely, if I buy this guitar, which, let me rephrase that, when I buy this guitar, I'll probably change these to hip shot locking tuners, just for fun. Um, other than that, the neck profile is a lot better than my BH7. Uh, upon reviewing this guitar, which was reviewed by Travis Royer, this neck is huge. Um, I have I have major problems. Like this is how, is as far as I can go with this neck. Now, let's see the difference on this one. I can actually reach here. I can actually reach completely around it. So, the difference between this neck and, and the BH7 is remarkable. I, I think it's an extreme step up. Uh, when I actually had my BH7 uh, reviewed, they asked me to do measurements and found that this guitar was actually bigger than most of their standards. So, aesthetically, now, as I said, this, this guitar is beautiful. On the BH7, we originally had found issues, which are talked about in the, in the, the video that was reviewed by Travis, which I will give a link, that way I'm not ranting about that. Uh, any of the issues that were listed, uh, the only real issue that's similar is the glue that we see. Uh, Halo themselves, quoted by Bruce, they know that they're not good finishes and they are working on it and they are bettering themselves and it, it definitely shows. So, with that, I will do a, uh, a tone test, both distortion and clean. I'm not going to do a song playthrough. I'm simply going to give you guys a quick overview on the sound and the tone of the guitar itself. That way you guys can get an idea of what it sounds like and from there see if you guys want it. Want a guitar. <laughs> anyway, let's get to that.
Before I go, I would like to say thank you to both Jeff and Bruce for allowing Travis and myself to record and film these guitars and review them and check them out. Uh, I would like to mention that this is not the only thing that we plan to do. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Travis and myself will be going to Cupertino to check out the Halo Shop. Uh, unfortunately, they do not have the factory in America. They have them in China. So this is about as far as we're going to get. Uh, the plan is hopefully in July, mid-July, we will go there to check out the shop, review other guitars so that we don't have just a complete biased opinion about, you know, just the seven strings and other things like that. And hopefully out of this, the idea is to show the company as a whole and not just the final product. I really, really think that as a company they have gotten better at what they do. Despite all the negativity and despite the bad feedback, communication was amazing. Professionalism was beyond what I exceeded, uh, expected. And I really feel like this will help other people get a look at this company. Maybe from a different end, maybe not. Either way, to take home from this is that we're just a couple of guys who really just are curious about these guitars and from there let's just see what happens this is Howard Leon signing out